The boys were expressing themselves at Coachella over the weekend, and they were not hiding it. A video has been circulating on social media of Jaden Smith embracing Justin Bieber from behind, and in return, Justin gave him a friendly peck on the cheek. Lil Uzi Vert gave us a little voguing session during his performance at Coachella. What are your thoughts on these fellas expressing themselves despite the naysayers, Al? Um, I thought find this is a very interesting uh, situation. Uh, I think this is more than gender bending. I think this is could be the introduction, especially from this new generation, of letting us know that gender bending as well as fluidity is a thing. And it really doesn't matter. And I, I, I love these types of conversations that the new generation is, po- is forcing us all to kind of have without pause. See, that's the thing that is really in it's it's. It's invigorating to me. Now, I will have to say this. I saw both of the videos and the pictures of them embracing and all that stuff. I can say in my generation, this would have never been a good thing if you shared it during my time, even in my early days in entertainment in the early 2000s. But it really does empower me um, as a member of the LBGTQ plus family and knowing what we've gone through over the years to see us at this position where two huge stars like this can be so open and so honest about their friendship and as men can embrace and even kiss one another without being worried about backlash. All right, Armand, what do you think? Um, Let me start with the little Uzi Vert. Let me tell you something. That is my favorite video, okay? That video had me crying. That death drop is crazy. Crazy. All right, listen. So Lil Uzi Vert is out there voguing it down at Coachella. Now, people are like, this dude is gay. This is crazy. I just think it's entertainment. And what I like, you know, is the fact that, you know, the underground ballroom uh, scene is really becoming mainstream now. The only thing is, though, straight people, if you guys are going to take our dances, you guys are going to take our lingo, then please don't try to police it. Because I, I hear a lot of straight men saying tea, shade, now they're voguing. But we can't say fish and we can't say girl. Like, if we, if you're going to adopt the lingo, adopt it all because it's all a part of that underground language. That's my only thing. But I'm here for Lil Uzi Burr getting into his bag and, you know, putting on entertainment. Now, as far as Jaden Smith and Justin Bieber, I feel like, you know, a lot of people online were saying, like, this is gay. They let anything go on in the Smith household. This is a lot going on. For me, I just think these are two guys that really like each other. They're friends. They, you know, they have an affinity for one another, but I don't think that that they're gay. I just feel like when you see two individuals within the urban community, because let's be clear, Justin Bieber is in urban culture, people automatically make that gay. But white Fraternity bros, they do this stuff all the time. They touch on each other. They pants each other. They lay in the bed together. Hell, they masturbate together. But for our urban community, we cannot show affection to one another as men without being called gay. And I just think it's unfortunate. And what ends up happening is this perpetuates or furthermore pushes down low culture and men not to come out and be, you know, be themselves. So I think that we should embrace men showing, you know, care for one another and being, you know, and, and, and showing love. So yeah, those are my thoughts on it. <laughs> uh, to me, it wasn't all love from an outside looking in. Really? I was, yeah. And here's why. When I saw Justin Bieber, I feel like with all the recent uh, news that we've been getting and theories and new revelations, I, I look at Justin Bieber as someone who's been a victim and has been molested in my opinion mm. and has been touched and you know, there's some people that, you know, they were born and they were gay, right? They were born gay. And there's also some, I believe that through being molested, they are confused or they become, I do, I do see that. I have friends that have, they're very confused about their sexuality after being abused and touched and being very confused, especially when it happens at a young age, everybody else. I'm like, oh, it's, it's definitely showing love It's positive. You know, it's, it's great to see men showing affection in Italy, my family, they, my cousins walk hugging, holding arms. Like, they, there's no, that's gay over there. They don't really have that like they do here in, in America. And I just look at Justin Bieber like a, a tragic story. I, I really feel like this, this kid was let down by all the adults around him in the entertainment business. And I really feel like he was passed around, in my mm. opinion. It, it looks like that. And he looks like he just doesn't look comfortable with himself. He never does. And I, I still, I feel like there's a lot of pain behind Justin's eyes. But all the others, Lil Uzi Vert, I know uh, JT was off to the side cheering her man out. He was voguing and death dropping. Hey, that was cute. All that other stuff, that's fantastic. You know, seeing it being mainstream. 
But Justin, I, I, I always feel away when I see Justin, and I, I am concerned about Justin. I really am. Can I, I ask you this? Question. Let me ask you right there. I, I, real, oh, but let me just get this off real quick okay. now. Sorry. So just asking. So, like, because I think women are affectionate with one another all the time. They kiss, they touch each other's booties, they tap on each other all the time, they hug each other. And it's like when men do it, it always has to be something underlined to it. Like, what do you think the difference is? Is it just is it just a double standard or well, is you it know, always gay? We've often been told, even on the show, it's a double standard. You just deal with it on certain things that we just can't move like y'all. And that's something that just you just can't have everything. You know, and I just mm. think that's it's, it's just, that's been our society. It's not me making those rules. Our society has put out a set of rules that says men do this, women do that. If you do this, you're a whore. If you do this as a man, you're gay. You know, that's just how it is. Um, of course, some of it actually is gay, but sometimes people that are gay don't even want to be called gay. Like, it's an insult. I think if you're really proud and you really embrace your truth, then then why should it then be an insult to be called gay? It should be something you're very proud of. Like, I feel like you can't really have it both ways. And as far as women, yes, a lot of women do. I happen to not be one of them that does that. Like, I don't like a lot of that touchy-feely stuff with my friends. I just wasn't like, I'm, I'm an affectionate girl like that with my girls. But I do like seeing men that are comfortable expressing themselves. I really do. Um, but, like, let's not act like it's not gay when it is. And then also, let's also make it, fair, be it safe for men that are straight to be affectionate with their boy or someone they love. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you know? I just want to avoid, you know... Pushing a not from you. I'm just saying. I just want to avoid as a community pushing a toxic masculine narrative because it it does more harm than it does good to black men or men of you know urban cu culture. Sorry, I, I agree. I agree. I think as women, we just say just just keep it a buck with us. That's the only thing we want. You know, I I don't I don't think anyone hates it. It's just like the, when we get lied to. But that's I think we I need a whole show for that conversation. We have a few comments. Uh, Doctor Larry Larry speaks truth said. The narrative is dangerous to gay men. I agree. And Mariah said, they're rich kids. We can't even comprehend what's normal to them. All right, we'll move on. I'm sure we'll revisit this topic more as things are becoming more open and, and free.